been a busy year for you, so how was it, you know, to keep up with everything that was going on around you? In Game of Thrones or uh, just life? You know, life and Game of Thrones, I mean, these two are, you know, basically crossing over. Well, that's true. Game of Thrones is half of my life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's been pretty busy. Uh, this year, I mean, as you know, like the episode, there's less episodes this year, so it was, <laughs> it was a lot easier, uh, a lot less time. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of, I, I, I feel like we're really coming to the end of something. Obviously we are, we're coming to the end of the series. So um, the time, you know, that I spent in like season three or four, I was like, oh God, another six months. Now I'm kind of really cherishing these moments that I'm like spending time with Game of Thrones and even doing like press junkets and stuff that I used to like kind of complain about before. Now I'm like, oh God, we're losing it soon, so um, yeah, it's quite sad. So no relief then? What's that? No relief. I mean, there's, I suppose it's a funny balance. There's slight relief because, you know, I, I kind of will get the summer now to work on projects and I just have a lot more time to kind of, yeah, work on a, a, lot, more th a lot more projects, but there's also my safety net is going. Um, and this family that I've worked with for so long, I won't see them for six months out of every year now, and it's it's really sad. I'm kind of having a bit of a crisis right now. <laughs> and you and Sansa, you share the same experience of being thrown into the adult life at a very young yeah. age. Does that make her more relatable to you? Absolutely. That I think our stories, especially in the beginning, kind of somewhat paralleled each other in that sense that we were thrown into an adult world that we kind of just had to adapt really quickly to because we had no preparation for it. And the same thing happened for her. So um, that was immediately what kind of struck me with her. And so I feel like we've really kind of grown up together and learnt things together and changed so much together um, that leaving her will be like leaving like a sister that I lean on, you know? It's gonna be difficult. And uh, Sansa has reunited with John. so what does that mean to Westeros? Um, well, it means the Starks coming back together um, and they're very revengeful, I think. Um, so it, it's, it's somewhat dangerous, I think, that they're back together because they're so strong together. Um, and especially after everything that they've gone through. I mean, Sansa is such a brilliant politician and, and, and John is now, you know, such an excellent military man and um, together they kind of have the whole package. So they're pretty dangerous, I think. There are like so many fun theories surrounding Game of Thrones. Yeah. Do you have, you know, your, your favorite one? I try not to listen to them because then I get really confused because, I mean, the show itself is confusing, but then I kind of convince myself that these things are happening. But um, what theories are there? I haven't really seen many theories for the next couple of seasons. There's a lot. There's too many to keep up with. Um, but, yeah, I've seen uh, a theory that... Well, I mean, there's so many. I don't know. I don't know what's true and what's not. And also I'm worried that I'll go, oh, I've seen this theory and then it turns out that it's actually true and then I feel like I've spoiled it for you. Thank you. I don't want to spoil anything for you. <laughs>